Hello everyone, this is Hadrian. Hey folks, I'm Mal. Thanks for watching. Let's play some more Master of Orion in our Brains and Brawn. Brawn. Yeah. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> we haven't sung yet, but you got Sound of Silence out of me a couple of times. No, so no, we're, we're good. We're, we're good. We'll come up with for a while. We'll, 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 we'll come up with another one. We'll come up with another one. It'll happen. <laughs> there we go. Indeed. All right, so things are... All right, so last episode... Um, well, two episodes ago, we were absolutely terrified. That's the reason Sound of Silence was a joke for a bit, was that, oh my god, we cannot have a single bromance series without everything blowing up in our faces. But then, things kind of um, got 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 better. A little so, bit, anyway, um, yeah. Yeah, we actually made peace with the extreme difficulty humans, which we were hoping would happen, because again, they're supposed to be the more diplomatic ones, so if any race is going to make peace with us on extreme difficulty, it would be the humans. And they did. And now I'm actually rebuilding a little bit. I'm being a little bit smarter. I'm not forward settling like a jerk, um, which I usually do. Um, can't quite explain why. Remember can't I told it. you um, at the end of the last episode that the Martian would be going to war with me? Did they just declare war? They didn't. But remember, I had that scout and I said that they were leaving that scout alone you know, because they Did obviously they? didn't <laughs> want to. And they just destroyed <laughs> they it, it, didn't they? Yep. Yep. Yeah. I knew it was going to happen. I just I was kind of wondering when. But yeah, oh, man, I had a funny. feeling that's fun times well that's fine i mean they're gonna they're gonna get theirs here in a moment because i've got a decent sized military and i'm gonna put it to use especially now that i have a non-aggression uh treaty with um the sakura As a matter of fact i'm gonna see if i can get one with the alkari the as blessing. well what proposition would you excellent for? i cannot allow it you hawk your wares to no avail Leonard. have you thought this through what if i Sweeten the deal there. Buzz off. Oh, okay. He told me to buzz off. He's not interested. He is not interested. <laughs> he does not give a flip. Hey, uh, random all car. You're probably going to want to get out of my territory pretty soon before I finish building these. I'm just, just a friendly suggestion. Just saying. A, a lot harder time getting out of here. Just saying. You might want to go. Uh, let's see. Civil transport, no. Uh, more ships? Debating. Yeah, I guess more more ships is good. Though I can't really afford them. I need some, some command point tech. Where's the earliest command point tech? Do you remember? Uh, no, but I can have a look real quick. Yeah, study with you. One take second. a look here. Let's see. Where are you at, command point tech? It's probably a base upgrade, right? I'm guessing... Maybe. Uh, Tachyon Communications. Okay. So that's... Uh, it's Physics Line 4th Tier. Yep, see it. So, Command, command points, points plus, plus two, 2 for each star base. Okay. Yeah, so. we're going to need that soon-ish. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll finish Military Tactics, and then since that's half of the tree i got to research anyway, I'll then switch to the Electronics, Positronic Physics, blah blah blah, to get to that. I mean, it's either, like plan. it's either that or go for cruiser tech, which I'm really tempted to do as well. All right. My truce with the humans has expired. Let me see. All right. I still have a negative diplomatic implication with them for attacking one of their fleets, which is weird because that's pre-truce. Did you notice that the, the, su the super scalar gas harvesters now give five credits? No, I didn't. Yeah, remember we talked about that? I don't know if it was in the... I guess it was in the last romance series. Like, what's the point of doing that? Because it's only two credits. Who cares? Oh. That's that's pretty cool. Plus five credits. I'm pretty sure it used to be two. Yeah. Okay. I just did a little bit of negotiating with the humans. I do have embassies set up with them again. They are not quite ready for a non-aggression pack, but they are very friendly. They are the second green from the far right. Oh, that's good. Right now. So maybe a little bit longer, not fighting them. And they actually will be on better terms with me. Threatening fleet detected. Oh, it's okay. 
It's it's just Bob the Space Dragon. <laughs> I was like, who is that? Bob, what are you doing over there? You acting all rowdy. As space dragons tend to do. This is true. So right. let's see. I've got 70 offensive power and 350 defense, and it's basically saying that I can smash the hell out of anything the Marshan have. That's cool. I'm liking that. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Okay. I'm going to have to sneak in. Uh, I'm still building those 10 destroyers at Mentor Prime, but I'm going to have to build, sneak in an atmospheric renewer first uh, to reduce this uh, pollution pollution issue because I just did the math. Well, didn't take a lot of math, but just the number of turns it would have taken to finish the destroyers, the pollution would have been over 100. So um, I had to change course there. It's going to take a few turns to finish that. Hopefully the destroyers will be built and in, in position before anything too crazy happens. I'm going to take a look at the time graph real quick. I want to see military wise. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so my military is quite a bit higher than the Marshan and Good. they are having to split their focus with the Sakura who are clearly beating them. Like if you look at the line graphs, like they're clearly getting their asses kicked by the Sakura. So yeah, this is basically a perfect time to go after them. So I think that I will. Um, but the implication to you is that if the war goes poorly for me, that could screw us. So are you okay with me going to war here? Yeah, that's fine. Ponder this. You All right. Thing. Um, just, just go ahead, trade go ahead and renew the. Yeah, thank you. Good thinking. Except. Done. Thank you. You bet. Uh, now I'm going to move this space factory and build yet another military outpost. It's like I need these or something. Um, now, just as a reminder, too, and this is for everybody, um, the uh, the outposts do cost you command points. Command like points, got, yes. yes. I've yes, got yes. a bunch of them, and they're sucking up my command points, but they're really worth it, especially in the early game. Yeah, I mean, if I had had those in place, if I had... Uh, <coughs> taken your advice um and actually well, built one uh in shen then i might not have gotten my oh, ass kicked by the humans um but, but it's okay it's over now we're friends yeah you're pals now it's all good okay and you grew okay we'll keep that like that Yeah, these super scalar um, gas harvesters are basically keeping me in positive territory right now in terms of money. So that's good ish, I guess. OK. A trade treat with Mershon is over. Let's see if I can re up that. Excellent. All right, that's done. Okay, the soccer. Yeah, you, you re-upped it with the Martian? Yeah. Now remember, as soon as I declare war, that treaty will break. I know, but I just for the for now I need the money. Um, I'm just milking it for all it's worth. The blessing. Oh, I yeah, I'm with you on that. This glad. Every credit counts right now. I'm actually bringing in 77. I haven't turned my taxes down yet. Um. So I'm, I, especially since I'm trying to grow quickly, I'm just trying to take advantage of that, but I'm probably going to turn them down pretty soon. That's going to be painful for me when I go to war with them from that standpoint. Yeah, I'm sure. All right. Even with the new pollution reduction on Mentor Prime, I'm going to have to run pollution cleanup for a few turns before these destroyers finish, which really sucks. All right. My new colony ship is done. I'm going to send it straight to Zenith Nada. Zenith um, Nada. Zenith Nuda, and we're gonna send it to the ultra rich gem world. <laughs> yes, please. best best colony name ever. Zenith Nuda. Zenith Nuda the third. Um, Z Zenith Nuda number three. Welcome to GNN. Oh, oh okay. Please. State of the galaxy. What do we got? Let's see what it has to say. The state of the galaxy. Current number of colonies. What? Hey! Hey! hey. All right. That. Nice. And I'm about to have four, so this is not this is not an awful position to be in right now. I'm 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 liking it. I'm actually gonna send this space factory along. 
with the colony ship that's going to Zenithnida so that I could fortify Zenithnida against any Alkari incursions. Good call. I mean, I try. Okay, so I'm at negative eight on the cash. I think I'm going to have to up my taxes. I didn't want to, but... Need to stay in positive territory here. Yeah, absolutely. And I think what I'm going to do is just destroy all their stuff. And then... Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Instead of trying to do the whole troop transport and take them, I think I'll just go destroy stuff. And then sit on their homeworld with my fleet. And then build some transports. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because it's going to take a long time to build the troop transports. And they're expensive. So... Yeah, I'm thinking no on that. Sounds good. I just re-upped my trade with the Alkari. I should be able to buy a Starbase, which should guarantee me, uh, on CMAC 2 actually, which should guarantee me uh, command points for the next uh, couple of com uh, construction projects completing. That's exciting. The Mac 2 has grown. Excellent. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's put you in production. He thinks built faster there. Colony's growing fast enough, as is. A nice, healthy world. Okay, I now have troop transport technology. So, I guess I'm going to... So the question is, do I go for... Do I spend some time getting cruisers and titanium armor... Or do I run for command points? Hmm. I, think I mean, I th you're, you're going to need... It's it's a chicken and the egg question, really. Yeah, I think command points. Because even if I build the cruisers, I can't support them with command points right now anyway. Yep. All right. So let's see. You're going to need both eventually. Audience with what them. Is it, there we go. Declaring war. Good luck. And Godspeed. Right. May the wind be at our backs. Yes. Well, so far so good. There it is. War erupts between the Bulrathi Empire and the Mershon Pride. Ah, uh, they're bringing their whole fleet towards me. Okay, that's fine. We'll back up. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. It's, it's, it's like my favorite side is my favorite scene from uh, Ant-Man. Just 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 back it up. Just back it up. Back yeah, it, up. it should be okay. <laughs> I mean, I do have a military outpost there. So between my fleet and the outpost, it hopefully it'll be okay. We're just going to back it up. <laughs> of course, the downside is the no tactical combat makes it hard to optimize things. Yeah, you, you just got to kind of hope that auto resolution will do the best it can for you, which it's not always going to happen. Just saying. All right. I'm going to go ahead and go for cruiser research because Hadrian. Um, let's see. Late on Prime. Not really anything I can build here that's... I mean, I guess I could build another colony ship. Yeah, may as well. Like I need to keep expanding, so... Can't build anything that would help with morale there right now. Pretty soon I'll have a fleet to um, that could actually support you in in war. So just you just let me know what you need. I think it looks like seven turns away from that destroyer pack at Mentar, and then uh, I was building. I, f I feel like I was building frigates somewhere. Where do they go? Oh, maybe I maybe I dreamed. Or that, maybe but... maybe the maybe the gas giants were always worth five, and I just never. Noticed Never it noticed. because the asteroid yeah. mines are only worth two, so uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I actually don't have any systems with with asteroids right now. I have one with a, a, a gas giant, so I could I could have my space factory do something there. Actually, right now I can send him back to to do something. All right, so this space factory has arrived. We're just gonna have him hang out for a second. All right, looks like I'm gonna safely arrive at Zenithnida. Not Zenithnida. 
Oh yeah, I'm arriving. It's happening. <laughs> oh, it's happening. <laughs> oh man. One of my very good friends, uh, his uh, his Xbox handle is literally, oh, it's happening. So whenever he plays like a first person shooter, <laughs> and he kills somebody, nice. That's what they see on the screen. I mean, it's just the most perfect thing ever. Oh, it's it's happening. Especially if it's like a really like embarrassing kill. Just perfect. Well, they moved that fleet away to re-engage with the Sakura, which is kind of what I thought. So once that thing gets far enough away, I'll, I'll move back in. Good. Threatening fleet detected. That's just the space dragon. Colony ship arrived at Zenithnada. Colonize! <laughs> yeah! Still one of the coolest things in the game, right? Oh yeah, I love it. Beautiful ocean planet. Things are looking up for the Cylon. As, as a point of pride, I, I do want to just say, for the sake of my own hubris, <laughs> that I am glad I did not have to go, like, settle behind you and slowly rebuild my empire. I'm glad it didn't well, come it's, to that. Well, it's, it's colonized. It's ready to go. I was, I was going to I was gonna gift it to you. Oh, yeah, that's right. You colonized it, didn't you? Yep, I did. I was like, That's well. awesome. Well, in that case, that's an awesome world for you. So, by all means, enjoy. Well, I think it's good to have a backup plan. I think it's good to have, just in case. Just in case, right? Things get squirrely on us. Oh, yeah. That's totally a thing. Oh, man. These these gems are giving me extra credits. It's an ultra-rich... Now, remind me, the it's the mineral classification that impacts production? Correct. All right, so because it's an ultra-rich... Zenithnid is ultra-rich. Production is just so good. Ah, the humans are wanting to trade tr technology with me. They are going to give me the fusion beam, and they want the deep scanner. Okay. The deep scanner's worthless, so yeah, I'd do it, just for the heck of it. Not that fusion beam's that great. Oh, this is funny. So now the Sakura uh, want the... They want to give me the fusion beam for the class 1 shield, and I'm going to say... Uh... No. It's almost like the same subroutine ran and mm -hmm. gave us both diplomatic options for the AI. Interesting. Okay, I am in orbit of that gas giant, so let us build a super scalar gas harvester. I want it in my life. Okay. Uh, yeah, things are looking much better now. Um, oh yeah, I definitely need a missile base You know here. what? I totally Let's forgot that, that I had mass drivers. Okay. Time to do some upgrading. Yeah, change those blueprints. Change, need to change the blueprints. Yeah, I complete. I had completely forgotten about that. Okay. Well, I can fix it. I've got such a morale issue at um, late on Prime. I know it's 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 because of the taxes. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I guess I guess I can turn that down soonish. I just while I'm growing and trying to kind of catch up, I just I'm trying to. I know my people are mad at me. They're striking, but. Uh, but I need to, I need to keep up the income for a bit. The uh, the costs are still pretty extreme in terms of upgrades. Yeah, yeah, that can definitely be a thing. Um, matter of fact, to upgrade those five turn timer, turn timer to, to update those five frigates. Yeah, that are sitting over there in in your uh, space. Eight hundred and five credits. If I want to do that. Jeez, that's and the crazy. only and the only thing is a slight change in the weapon systems. I mean, it's not like a big upgrade. Yeah. I really, really hope that in one of the future patches they um, add in the ability to do like what well, like like you could in previous iterations of the game. You could park your fleet um, at a, a colony that had an appropriate size starbase, and then you could select them to basically bring them to the colony essentially, and then you could use production to do the retrofits instead of money. Yeah. Yeah, you've described this to me before. It sounds really, really cool, and it's it's very intuitive. Like you would expect to be able to do that in a in a space empire simulator where you had fleets, right? Um, I would, I think so too. Yeah. Yeah.
Just a few turns away from my gas harvester. Oh, yay! Alright, my destroyers are done at Mentor Prime. I now have six destroyers in orbit of Mentor Prime. <gasps> 17 almost 1700 credits to upgrade the uh 10 destroyers Good wow Lord. wow that's expensive that's really expensive i need to go ahead and build my spy center i've been horrendously slow on that it's, it's almost like i've had other things to do well that whole fending <sighs> for your life thing yeah, comes that, up that, that whole almost dying and turn 49 mm -hmm. That whole monkey wrench scenario. Yep. I think it's kind of funny, though, that it tells you that, like, you've got critical pollution and it's, you know, six turns away or something or five turns away. Yeah. Like, really? Really? Is it critical? Is it really? I I'm pretty sure it's not. Thanks. Actually, come to think of it, I've got these destroyers now. How do they stack up versus my friend? Oh, they, they don't stack up at all. Never mind. <laughs> I want to kill the space dragon so I can uh, colonize Invaca. I haven't even explored Invaca yet. Uh, I, mean, I mean, I guess technically I could now. If I send a scout in, we could find out what those planets are. And that could be really big for me. But as long as that space dragon's there, causing trouble. Causing trouble. It's got no respect for your authority. <laughs> None. No. None, None whatsoever. Uh, that's a shame. Okay. Uh, anything else I can do with this? I mean, I don't really need... Uh... Yeah, I, I'm just going to park my uh, park my space factory in orbit of Mentor. Nothing really to do with them right now. I can probably buy the next building on Zenithnida. When it's done. Oh, let me get that trade treaty going. Come Appreciate you. Come here, my little gray buddy. <laughs> All right. Did you send it? Yeah, you did. Except. Hey, the Mershon aren't happy with me. I wonder why. Um... I'm surprised that you're not at a state of war. You're supposed to be. With them? With the Marshan Pride? Yeah. Why would that be? We're not we're... actually allied, are we? Yeah, we are. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, we're not at a state of war. That's weird. I'm going to build another colony ship. <laughs> I'm starting to crank out colony ships because I'm feeling lucky. All right, let's see. Where else can I put... Yeah, the next best colony would be... The other planet in Zenithnida. Zenithnida Prime. So we're going to go there. That colony ship. Threatening fleet detected. That's just the space dragon. No worries. Hmm. Yeah, I'm at 23 or 25 command points right now. So I can't really build any more ships. Until I've got some more command points built up. Which is oh, fine. Human spy discovered, huh? All right, we'll deport. Yeah, I won't be surprised. I, I would not be surprised if if the spy if a spy from somewhere messed with me right now because I I don't have any defenses set up against spies. It's shameful. Actually, wait. I'm gonna send my space factory down to CMAC and have them do stuff. How are things going against the Mershon? Quiet kind of, Mal is quiet. To, well, yeah, Quiet <laughs> Mal is quiet because he's trying to figure out why... I guess I missed it? Uh, I don't know. Nerub got downgraded and I had only gone one cycle, so there was still... I thought, anyway, pollution available, but whatever. Gotcha. Fine, so be it. The blessing. What position would you put for this 
blood. Okay. Somebody, somebody, somebody in the comments will be like, "No, you just screwed up." <laughs> <laughs> Because, you know, maybe when you're when you're playing a game cooperatively with someone right. else and dealing with a war and trying to keep track of everything, you can do everything perfectly. You, you never can, make any you mistakes. Never, and you're never when going you to do. You deserve to be yeah. criticized, sir. Yeah. 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 Rudely. That's Rudely. what it is. That's what it is. That, that's that. That's the rules of the Internet. Right. <laughs> so much truth there. Uh. Let's see. OK. I'm going to move back in, I think. And, uh, I think it's about that time, sir. I think it's about that time. You want to hit the next turn button so it cycles? That way we don't have a timer going? We can do that. That's just going to bother me if that's running while I'm running the episode out. I'm just going to stare at it. My eye's going to start twitching uncontrollably. Your eye's going to start twitching My, my, my voice is going to start quivering. Like, what's happening? I don't understand. Just make the turn cycle. There, there we, we go. go. Yay! Okay, well, this ends episode five. Yeah, five. You don't. Of, hey, real uh, quick, you don't need those but, frigates, right? That I have over there. No, no. We, we, we withdraw okay. them at this point because I'm actually going to scrap them all. Oh, okay. Do you I think? Need, I need the command points. Yeah, I'm about to. I've got a um, space factory inbound to CMAC, and we're going to uh, we're gonna we're gonna build that system. So I'm I'm actually pretty confident with my current defensive setup and the other colonies that I'm kind of lining up um, that uh, I should be able to establish some borders before anyone else gets aggressive because right now no one's looming no one it's it's a nice feeling for once so anyway we will go ahead and cut this one here thanks very much for watching folks if you enjoyed it don't forget Mal and I both have a series going so you can see the campaign from both sides and don't forget to like the videos and subscribe to follow along if you're not already we're uploading new episodes in brains and brawn on both channels every day at 9 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time which is GNT minus 4 for those of you not in the States and comments are always welcome let us know what you think hey folks thanks so much for watching he's Hadrian I'm Mal and we will see you later